I didn't even know how to talk to the girls. So I uh, said to the road, guest with road manager, his name was Jim Martin, I said, Jim, you're kind of a real ladies' man. Would you go to that table and sit with the two girls, introduce yourself, just talk to the blonde and don't talk to the brunette. And if you get to the table, call me over and introduce me to them. So thank you to Jim Martin, he did that. He called me over to the table. I met these two ladies, they were sisters. And Jim Martin got called away because our bus was being fixed. And they called and said, the bus is ready. And uh, so we had to go to the mechanic. So I said, can I take you two ladies home? And they said, yes. So I asked the brunette the next night if I could take her up for, uh, to a movie or something. And she said, yes. So I went to her house on Angus Avenue in Regina. Anybody from Regina? Of course, I'm always kind of an early kind of guy. I get there about 10 to 7. I'm supposed to pick her up at like, uh, I don't know, 7 o'clock. Of course, she's not ready. You guys will relate to this. She's not ready. I get ushered into a room that has a, an old piano, a couch, a plant, nothing else. I keep saying to her little brother who's there playing with the yo-yo, is she ready? No, she's doing her, she's got a tear in her nile and she's doing her eyebrows. Is she ready? Is she ready? Finally, I sit at the piano. Now, um, I can't really play piano, but I grew up at the age of five, I started playing classical violin. And I played the telescope at 14 until I switched to guitar when I saw Elvis on TV. And my parents really were a Polish, a Ukrainian, German kind of people and wanted me to grow up playing violin and played all the weddings, played kolomikas and polkas and all this stuff. So my brother, youngest to me, got an accordion so he could accompany me on the accordion. And uh, he was so little, he was five at the time, and I was seven. We were, we were playing, I was playing while he was playing accordion. But he could hardly pump the accordion this way. So he used to get him to lay down and pull it this way. And I'd sit on his knees and yell, pump, and he'd pull it. So I learned to play in the key of C magically. So with this formal training on uh, keyboard, uh, I sat on this piano in this room waiting for this woman to come down for our first date. And I was so, I wanted to see her so badly. Um, I sat down and wrote this song, and I later showed it to Bert Cummings and became our first hit.